In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, Tim Tebow. A lot's already been made about Tim Tebow over the years. He's gotten a lot of publicity, whether it was when he was a star quarterback at Florida or a professional quarterback or a major league, or I should say professional baseball player now. He's gotten a lot of publicity and I'm just gonna give him more, I guess. Last week I did a video about religion and Tim Tebow is known for his religious views and being very outgoing about spreading his faith. And last week I was a little critical about people pushing their faith onto others. I think Tim Tebow approaches faith in the best way possible. He uses his faith as guidance on how to live a good life. He doesn't use his faith to look down on other people. And what I like about Tim Tebow is, yeah, he'll mention God in his interviews and yeah, he'll thank Jesus or God after a big sports moment, but his message is so much more than that. He lives out his message. Just recently, a fan at a minor league baseball game passed out and Tim stayed by the fan and waited until the paramedics arrived. And even after the paramedics arrived, he stayed and just comforted him. This week he did a press conference and since it's a Tim Tebow press conference, it turned into a big motivational speech. He was asked about the pressures of playing professional sports and he compared the pressures of sports to the pressures of life. So much of handling sports is handling pressure. Well, what pressure do you have if you're 0 for 12 and you're at the plate versus someone that is fighting for their life versus someone that, you know, we picked up on the side of the street in Haiti because they're crippled or they're not wanted or they're thrown into the garbage? Like, how do you compare those things? And for me, it's, it's, there's, there's not a comparison. And that's why you're able to handle sports as a game because it still is. Yeah, we can pursue it. We can give so much of our time, energy, and effort to it. But at the end of the day, I know that's not why I'm here. It's not my biggest purpose. It's not my biggest calling. It's not what I want to be. It's not how I want to be known in my life. It's not as a football player, as a baseball player, as, you know, someone that, you know, worked hard to accomplish those things. I, I want my life to be so much more than that. I want to be someone that was known for bringing faith, hope, and love to those needing a brighter day in their darkest hour of need. And that is something that is a life calling for me, and so it's so much bigger than sports. But I am so grateful for sports because it's given me a platform to be able to share and love and care for people all over the world. So I wouldn't trade that for anything. Now over the years, Tim has had his fair share of criticism and he's actually been made fun of for professing his faith. And I just don't understand that. I wouldn't consider myself the best Christian or even a devout Christian, but I would never make fun of someone for professing their faith and living it out in such a positive way. Like how can you do that? All he brings to the table is goodness. So that's today's one good thing. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you tomorrow.